Hello, YouTube. We are back for the attack with bum, 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 X-Men number one. So what are we going to do today? I'll tell you what we're going to do today. What we're going to do today is I want to connect the piece of Magneto's helmet and his arm and all the other stuff that we put together to the main cover and then after we're done with doing this that's when we're going to get into preparing the book for the leaf casting so this is the main goal today so how are we going to do it we're going to do it similar to the way we did the pieces over here on the left we're going to try to replicate it because it worked that well. But one thing that I want to do is that there is some adjustment that has to be done. So what are you talking about? What is the adjustment? Okay. The first thing I want to do is I want to get a piece of parchment paper underneath the document. And then also what I have is a piece of glass and then I have Reme over the glass. But I don't want to heat up the Reme with the iron because we're going to be using our tack iron. So I'm going to have to adjust something for a second. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So what did I adjust? I, I removed the glass. We're just going to do it on the shelving unit because I have in the past worked just on the shelving unit with heat and there's not a problem doing that if you do it on the reme the heat will burn up the fibers of the reme and then it will cause a mess so what i want to do is i want to just identify how we're going to put this on and i'm getting my tack iron out on the side of my workbench i have drawers that i have let's plug it in let's get it heat it up okay there we go so i'm happy i put it together all in one piece the small pieces because we're going to rest it as i indicated right on top like this and i think we're going to have it where it's going to be a good job and it's going to line up nicely but what i do notice is on the piece of the small area that we worked on there are some fibers from the tengoja that i want to remove because these will actually hinder and they'll rest on top of the cover that we don't want and i just changed my mind i'm not going to remove them i'm going to leave them and when I paint this, I'm going to paint the methyl cellulose on the reverse. And I'm going to bend and paint the fibers hanging over on the inside of the cover. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is we're going to rest this on, like I said. So I want to put a piece of Tengojo pretty much from this area where there is no graphics all the way to the top of the signage and the reason why i want to do that is you'll see is because we're going to paint it and i'm going to place it right on so what we're going to do is we're going to flip it around just like this nice and delicately and i'm going to take a piece of tin gojo which i have right here and i'm going to rip a piece so we have it set up. So what I'll do is I'll rip it straight down, just like this, easy peasy. See how I'm ripping it? It may be the strongest paper, thin paper, but guess what? It's not as strong as me ripping it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the area that I want to apply the Tengojo with a small artist brush, just like this. We're gonna put a little methyl cellulose, nothing crazy. 
And then I'm just gonna gently paint the perimeter where I want to put the Ten Gojo, and you'll see why. Just like this, just a small amount of methyl cellulose. We're not going to go crazy. And I'm just putting a little bit, a little tiny bit, right on the perimeter, just like this. So what will happen is the Ten Gojo will attach and we'll remove the Ten Gojo with my razor blade. So just like this, ready? Ba boom. So now we don't have to worry about all that cutting and putting it in a proper shape because we'll do it after the fact. So what we'll do is we'll heat up the methyl cellulose on the cover just like this and we'll slowly dry it out. And I wanna check, I wanna make sure that we're not sticking to the bottom piece of the parchment paper, just like this. And we're gonna tack iron it nicely. And then after I'm done drawing this out, because there are people that just came home, I am going to stop the upload and I'll be right back after this is dried out. But this is very important to do it this way. And then we will slowly remove the ex excess Tengojo and we'll get rolling with this. That should be enough. Not yet, we have to dry out a few more pieces just like this and give nice pressure and go back and forth with the heat of the tack iron. And then it will dry nice and we will remove the excess amount and we'll be able to attach all the pieces of the cover that we connected in the last upload or the last two uploads. So that looks pretty good, just like that. And I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna stop the camera and I will be right back. Okay, ladies and gents, we are back. So what are we gonna do with this, Jerry? Why do you have this now? Well, I'm being silly. Everyone knows what I'm going to do. We're gonna remove it. We're gonna remove the excess and then we're gonna have a perfectly shaped Ten Gojo wrap on the cover, just like we wanted. So I'll put the plastic in like this. And then what we will do is we will scrape the Ten Gojo away and we will have a nice dimensional line going around the pieces that we don't want. Okay, just like this. And just like I did with the smaller pieces of Magneto's helmet. Look at this, see, we're getting it away. We wanna put a little pressure on it so it doesn't peel off. And we will nicely have a well-shaped Ten Gojo. See, then you can just rip it. Then you have these little pieces. And again, I know this is not the most entertaining of the conservation process. And I see right here, this is not on. So I don't like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna give a little paint of methyl cellulose, just a tiny bit, just like right here. See, just like that. And then what we will do is we will hit it with the tack iron and we will dry it up because we want a line of Ten Gojo around the whole perimeter. I, I do. And this is why I'm doing it so we can have it where the leaf casting material or pulp will blend in nicely. 
Now, there's different methods of doing this. Some people do not like to use Ten Gojo. They just like to go and they like to leaf cast. And I know Kenny Sanderson just does leaf casting. But I like Ten Gojo and leaf casting. I like to use both of them. And it's okay. There's different methods. There's not just one conservation method out there. That's why there's different people who dif do different things. There's different strokes for different folks. And I like my method. And if it's not broke, why are you gonna fix it? Now, hopefully the methods I use are still considered conservation as per CGC. I don't think there's any change in policy. I've been looking at a few people on Instagram who do this, and I read that they were lodging a complaint that CGC changed policies in relation to conservation. I am unaware of any policy change. So hopefully my methods that have a proven track record of being conserved will continue, okay? And hopefully for Sauce Dog Comics, we do have a conserved grade where this book is gonna come back the way it should. A conserved grade CGC. So as you can hear, right above my work layer, there is some dog action and talking, and that's okay, I can't prevent that. So I hope it's not disturbing the upload. I do have several dogs, and they are playing with one another. So right here, we have it set up. I don't like, I think it's a little too much of the Tengojo here. I'm gonna fix that after it's all put together. I'm not gonna do it right now, okay? And then also we have these rips here we're gonna have to fix. So there's a rip here, there's a rip here. I don't wanna rely on leaf casting to fix the rips. I don't think that is a good method, at least the way I do it. Maybe others who leaf cast just fixing the rips with the leaf casting have a better situation than I do. I just don't like doing it. I would rather have the extra Ten Gojo to give it more support, okay? So we're going to clean up all of these fibers now of the Ten Gojo that's on this piece. So what I want to do is I want to put a nice line, and hopefully the camera is, is getting this, a nice line of methyl cellulose where we want to glue this piece on. I don't want to go that crazy with putting a lot. I just want to put a nice line so we can glue it on to the Ten Gojo and it connects to the main portion of the cover. And you have to be careful when you're using methyl cellulose on Silver Age books, because what happens is if you're unlucky, there is a possibility that you can lift graphics. And we know that this happened with this book based on the fact that there was some adhesive left on. No fault of anyone's, it just happens. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna try to put this on and I'm gonna get it lined up as best as possible using my eyes. And we're gonna try to stick it on and get it into position. So that looks pretty decent in my opinion. 
I'm liking the way that's looking. So what I want to do is I want to iron it and I want to try to get it nice and flat. And if I don't like it when I'm done ironing, uh, using my heat seal iron, tack iron or hanger nine iron, I can always remove it. As we know from the last two uploads, that's why this is conservation. It's not restoration because it can be removed and it could be removed simply with water. And that's why CGC has its own special label for the conserved grade. And it looks, in my opinion, pretty decent. It's, it's nicely put on. I'm going to give it a little bit more ironing and let's get it nice and smooth. And perfection is something that you shouldn't be afraid of. I don't know if you see the quote I use often in my uploads for a few years now. It's Salvador Dali. I'm a big fan of Salvador Dali. And if you don't know who he is, check him out. He was one of the first surrealist artists during the turn of the century. And he, I believe he died in the late 70s. He may have actually lived until the 80s. Uh, and it was a really fun movement in art, the surrealist movement. And he has all those surreal paintings that he does. And it's pretty cool. I really like Salvador Dali. I have a few of his prints, probably about three or four of them. There's a lot of fake Salvador Dali prints. He was one of the most, I guess, replicated artists where they would forge, people would forge his signature. So there's a lot of fake Salvador Dali's out there. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with the results. I'm very happy with the results, actually. And I'm thinking it looks pretty, 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 pretty good. So I am happy with the results so far. So what I want to do now, since we do have it all connected, is that we want to trim this portion of the Tengojo paper. We want to try to eliminate this. So what I'm going to do is I'll flip it around and there it, it lined up pretty nicely on the back as well. And then I want to lift this because we do not want this connected or actually I do want that connected right there. So let me do a little of the methyl cellulose and we'll go and we'll use the tack iron to tack that down. And then the main goal that we're going to do is I'm going to try to eliminate the ex excess Tengojo. I want to get rid of it. I don't want to keep it on the cover. And that's going to be a very close and detailed method to get this off. So I'm going to be up front. I think the way I'm going to do the remainder in removing all the excess Tengojo is I'm going to get close and personal and I may do a time lapse. I may do a time lapse because we, I want to get all this tight. I want to remove the Tengojo. I want to remove the Tengojo wherever I can. And it's probably going to entail using water, using my knife, using the plastic sheet that I use to scrape it off. And to be up front, it's probably going to take quite some time. It may take a good half an hour or so to do it at normal speed. So if we switch to time lapse, we'll have like a part two because I also want to fix all of these rips as well. One here, one here, one here, 
one here, one here. There's a rip right here. There's, there's rips all over this cover. And in order to do it right, in order to, I feel, have a proper conserved grade, you really want to fix all these tear seals with the Tengojo before you start the leaf casting. So we're going to stop this upload. It's slow and steady. It's connected, guys. Tell me what you think. There's still more work that has to be done on it. There's a lot more work that has to be done on it. But we do have now a connected piece with all the missing pieces that Sauce Dog Comics gave me to put together. We, we achieved our goal. We cleaned the cover to a degree within age appropriate, I think, colors. So I'm happy with the results. So appreciate you stopping by. And stay tuned.